I'm Ralph Waters, um, and regarding starting to play the organ, I, I started here with a, with a former teacher called Edwin Bowne, who taught me all the rudiments of organ playing, you know, what to do with the stops and all this business, and I had to learn to play the pedals. So it was quite a learning curve right from the earliest days. Edwin started to teach me the organ when I was 12, which is quite a long time ago, and I, I carried on doing that, and Edwin was one who had quite a few pupils around the town, and he would say, right, they want an organist for a certain time at somewhere, and he would sort of detail you off to go, and that's really how I got started. And later on, Edwin got me to deputise at Heen because the organist there was rather ill. And so I was playing at Heen for quite a while, Sundays, um, and not doing anything else but play for the services, until there came a time when the organist was so ill and they said to me, would I be prepared to help out and carry on in his absence? So I did. And then the poor chap died. They asked me if I would be interested in doing it. And I said, well, only if I can take the choir as well. Because in those days, the rector took the choir and the organist just played the organ. So I wasn't happy with that. So I started off as the organist and choir master at Heen in, when I was 19, I think. And it was in 1963, I think. But in 1964, I was appointed the organist of here. We bought this organ, it came from Rochdale in Lancashire, and we've had it since 1970, and it is quite a wonderful instrument. The piano is a percussive instrument, and if you play a note, it gradually dies away, uh, apart from the fact that you've got a sustaining pedal. But the organ is altogether different. When you hold a chord on the organ, it plays until you take your hands off, and you've got to conquer the fact that the sound stops and starts when you start and finish. It's not like the piano which sounds on. So that's the basic difference. You have to get used to the delay. There is a bit of a delay. Some of the organ here, if you play a note and it stops immediately, you know it stops immediately. But others of it will go away into the rafters. And so that you've got to sort of be sensitive to the amount of delay that there is and conquer that as best you can as time goes on. Apart from playing the notes, we do have things called stops, which give you various sounds. If you talk about the basic sounds, you've got something like a voxel S, which is a very quiet stop, and you can add gradually add stops. And it's all very exciting, really, as you begin to learn. You've got to watch out you don't drown the choir, drown the congregation, and keep it, keep it all nice. The swell organ is the top manual, and that has quite a chorus. I'll give you a chord or two. The main keyboard on the organ is called the grate and that has all the loud stops. I'll give you an example of that. All budding organists want to play all the loud stops straight away. So here's a brief example. The 
in addition to the stop knobs, which you can pull out individually, we've got choruses which come up on when you push a piston. Here we go. Here's a, a, a piston which pulls out half the great organ and coupled to another piston which pulls out a substantial amount of the swell organ. Coupled with the pedals, you get this sort of sound. Often on a, on a big organ, the choir organ was referred to as the chair organ in the old days because it was behind the seat where the, the organist sits in front of the main organ with the console and the choir organ is actually behind your back. So it is a much more delicate sound played with the right hand on the, on the choir organ and the left hand on the swell, which is the top manual. You asked about the pedals, um, they are played with the feet and on most of the stops they play an octave lower than the manual. So when you're playing a hymn, for instance, you might be playing the main tune on the great organ, which I can give you just a sound of here. And if you play on the pedal keyboard, which tends to be an octave lower, uh, at what we call 16 foot pitch, you'll get a lower sound altogether. So if you listen for the bottom note, that is on the pedal. And to emphasize that, I'll play something which is rather vulgar and loud, where you'll hear it on the pedal. I do have a pair of organ shoes shut in the cupboard here, and I haven't got them on today, but they do help you to play more flexibly. <laughs> but, but hopefully if I wear the proper shoes, it's much more fluent. Having been the organist here for 52 years, I felt I'd done my stint. So having done the 52 years, I've, I've retired. Now that is not altogether a glad occasion because um, I do miss it very much indeed and also the fact is I fell ill while I was doing this and was quite ill with cancer and so I, there was no reason to carry on. I had to give up really in effect and have a rest, certainly. I do enjoy playing it still. Happily um, I can come in and play whenever I like and will hopefully be able to play the odd service here and there. Now I've been asked about music and of course it's, it's always very difficult to recall the sort of music that you, you really love. I suppose I'd have to say um, J.S. Bach because he's so wonderful and the music, is, the music he composed is a great swathe of music and you can't by any means played all on the organ, but you can play a great deal. In fact, he composed for the organ himself uh, a large number of pieces which are very famous.
Well done. 